What in the fuck is going on in here? No! Amaya! Larry! What is this? G'day mates, and welcome back to RimWorld. Here we see lovely little Larry doing up Amaya's room with all the sterile tiles. Isn't that just lovely? I need to remember how the hell we dress Amaya. I've entirely forgotten. I'm not really sure how I'm meant to actually dress up uh, a prisoner. Let's just steal the sex slave's clothes, because that's really good to put on your sister. Um, maybe if we just put some tiny, teeny little stockpile areas. Perhaps that should work. Critical! Clear. And put a apparel there. Perfect. It's so perfect. No. Give her pants as well. You crazy bastard. G'day mates, and welcome back to RimWorld. So last time we left off, uh, we were thinking about building the Gulag, which I've decided I will actually expand into and build. It'll give me a place for all my prisoners to go, and it'll be quite lovely. But first of all, let's get a few things built. So we can actually just expend, extend the cables down there a touch. We're going to have to run some cables through the flooring, because we can't run it through the rocks. So we're going to have to do it like that. There we go. We've hopefully given Amaya some clothes. Is she actually wearing them, I wonder? Who the fuck stole Amaya's... Oh, Larry. Larry, you cunt. Why do you steal all of her clothing? God damn it. Right. Let's just get Remy to haul some shit, because he's literally the only person who can haul anything around here. Can anyone else cook? Yes, yeah, Starry can. Jimbo can. Anyway. Amaya's fine locked up there, but we really do want to build this gulag, right? Because we can lock them in and getting them to do all our, all our production, right? It can be really nice. And when they go crazy, we can have, like, gun turrets by the door to murderize them as they try to escape. Oh, there's plaz still there. We definitely want that. As soon as you're done shooting an emu. Wait, is that? What's that? It's a turkey, actually. Anyway. So we still need to figure out a few things. First of all, we need to clean up all this bloody leather. We just need someone to haul. Can Amaya haul? No. So she's not even useful for that. God damn it. Let's just haul the fur out of the way, please. Just get it out of here. Get the human leather out as well, and the boomstrap leather, and the raccoon leather, and the deer hide. Come on. Actually, we can go give her some pants now. Will you wear the pants, Amaya? <gasps> there we go. Amaya's put some pants on. Perfect. Now Remy can rejoice. For his sister is actually wearing some bloody clothes. We can give her this uh, t-shirt as well. Perfect. So there we go. She's now got some clothes on. And she won't be so unhappy. Starry on the hand is still a nudist. So that's fine. And see, would you look at this? The whole place is all done and tidied up. It's looking good. Now what we need to really worry about is the construction of the Gulag. We need some prisoners to put in there. We need some people to actually work inside of there. Larry is hiding in his room because we butchered humans. Larry... Your room is literally the communal bedroom. We probably should build some bedrooms for the uh, for the people, shouldn't we? I forgot to do that. Let's get to work. So, we'll want to have... Obviously, Starry and Remy can now move out. So, wait. Can Starry and Remy live in the same bedroom? In the same bed, I wonder. I think they have to be dating for that to be allowed, yes? No, there we go. They both live in the bed. That's kind of awesome. Are they... <laughs> Fuck, that's still great. I love how they have chit-chat, deep talk, and then the fact he doesn't like him because he murdered a colonist. Anyway, let's get the wall deconstructed here. Uh, we'll put in some wooden flooring as well. And basically, we'll just move these rooms back a step and fix everything up here. We'll get this all done. Not a worry. Okay. And then all of these beds can be deconstructed as well. And while we're at it, I think we should probably place some animal sleeping spots around here. There we go. Lovely. For all our various animals to go sleep in. And we can have a sign Don. No, no, no. Can we assign this bed? Hmm, we actually can't assign the bed, and that makes me very sad. Ah, well. Oh, good. Oh! 
Remy, you are seriously disappointed. Yeah, unusual, uh, what's called heat wave has begun. That's fine. That's all good. So, let's get to work on actually upgrading the house. Uh, where is it? Remy, where are you? Okay, butchered, good, fine. But now, build that human leather armchair, would you? Can you? No, you still need more materials. Oh, well. One thing I'm rather sad about is a new update for a mill just came out, and unfortunately, I can't actually play with it, as it destroys, uh, rather, it just simply doesn't let me play with this world. I assume there'd be some sort of weird workaround, but I don't think it would work very well at all, and so I'm just not going to bother. However, it is rather nice, because there was a bunch of combat drugs and all sorts of horrible, horrible shit that I could put towards uh, using my slaves. Like, there was this go, or was it stay wake or whatever, or go wake, which was basically just like a working drug, and you get addicted to it, so I could just basically addict all my slaves to that, and then they'd be working at like an optimal capacity, and all just slaved to this drug. Yeah, this is a really happy playthrough, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to, uh, where is it, holding with Rumi, I just, I, I love how I've just set Rumi to hold just fucking everything. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Jimbo has named hair number one Boris after being nuzzled. So a fun fact about how this game works. When an animal nuzzles a human and is friends with them, they uh, get named by that human, and we now have the rabbit, Boris. I am entirely okay with Boris being our pet. That is a great pet. Oh man. Oh me, oh my. Anyway, let's get back to some building. Uh... Wood. Now we're only going to need a few bedrooms in here. Go one, two. One, two, wall, one. One, two, wall, one. Perfect. Hey, a local scroll has gone mad. That is not too much of a threat. Where's Remy? Remy, get your guns out. Oh, never mind. The. Well, that took all of two seconds. Remy, butcher the squirrel, would you? Thank you very much. Oh, Remy, why are you in a terrible mood? Because it's very hot. Well, that should heal your mood a bit. Uh, why don't you eat? Consume the simple meal. Very good. Um, you have a sharing bed and you're sharing... Oh, you're telling me you don't want to share the bed with Starry? That makes me so sad. Oh, she's happily nude and she's had raw cannibalism, so she's just off the fucking moon. Anyway, he's now playing some joy, so that should hopefully get him back up to happiness. He ate without a table, and that made him unhappy. Hmm. We have had to deconstruct the table. Let's rebuild that. So, let's go here. Let's go, actually, let's build the long table, because it'll look better. So, we got a wall there. One spot, two spot. Perfect. Yeah, like that. And then we go for some dining chairs. Lovely. Lovely. Alright, now let's get to the walls set up, shall we? So we can have this sort of like three bedroom area, or like oh, I have fucked that immediately. Like so. I literally did the same thing I did before. I cannot be trusted with anything, can I? My god. Right, there we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So now we can, like, a light and I don't know, maybe a TV or a chair or something. And everyone's going to be nice and happy. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Wunderbar. Well, what you are shooting at? Alright, oh, it's going to set fire to things. God damn it. Can you put the fire out, anyone? Oh, never mind. The, uh, the rain did it. Lovely. I'm just going to expand out and do this and just make the home area a little bit bigger. Perfect. How's our crops going? We've got rice growing, we've got our uh, potatoes growing. Should we switch this on? There we go. Yeah, our corn's growing. Uh, something else we should probably be growing, which will be a smart idea, I'll whack down over here, is medicine. Now this is a heal root. There we go. Well, none of our growers have the ability, so we guess we'll have to wait around until we can. But there we go. Heal root is right, uh, really rather important. It's a uh, way of making... Hang on. It's, I want to haul this crap. Haul slate chunk. There we go. Uh, it's a way of 
healing up with Kerbal Medicine, so it's rather good. We still have Glitter World Medicine, and we will have a lot for quite some time, but it's nowhere near as good as... Oh, sorry, it's nowhere near as cheap as Herbal Medicine. And as you know, we don't really want to waste our Glitter World Medicine on prisons. The filthy rebel scum! Anyway, let's get to work designing the Gulag. I'm not actually going to cut it out just yet, but I'm going to order them... I'll get the orders up ready to sort of chop it up. So, we'll want to have a sort of initial room here, right? So that'll be the entrance room. Maybe... Actually, no, this will be like the entrance hall, right? So this will be food and sort of communal area. And then we'll make this all bedrooms. So we'll go like so. And you know, you know what it'll be like? It'll be like the Sydney Mine from Skyrim. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea to base it off. Right? Um, like so, and then we can go like so there, actually, let's just go like that, oh, cancel, perfect, there is a bear, oof, oh my, great, Remy's broken his brain again, Remy, I swear to god, oh, you're taking your pants off again, Remy, <sighs> you bastard, Whatever, not the matter, not the matter. Hey, Jimbo's doing research, perfect. He's researching geothermal power, which is what we really need. Oh, it's pemmican. It's a preserved mixture of meat and all that. Oh, fucking Jimbo. Okay, is Jimbo getting naked as well? Where's Jimbo? Don't take your stuff off, would ya? Okay, I think Jimbo's just wandering around. He's not actually losing all his things. Anyway, um, yeah, we now have, what's, fire foam poppers? Huh, that's actually pretty nice. I do really like the tech levels, how you now have a certain tech level that you build up to. For example, the spacer tech level is the highest tech level. Multi-barrel weapons allows you to build miniguns? Oh my. Yeah, that's really quite nice. Oh, Hunter lacks weapon. Remy, for fuck's sake, stop taking all of your clothes off. God damn it. Anyway, not a worry. We have to get this all built up. Larry, can you actually... Yeah, why don't you build this shit? There is the wood. You can go do it. God damn it, Larry. Build the roof. Now build the wooden uh, beds, would you? Remy's still not back from his mental days yet. We just need to improve the general happiness of the colony. Oh boy. Remy, your sister's gone a touch nuts. Jimbo, you're not able to fight. Start, okay, Larry, get your guns out. Pop in the door and give her a whack. Let's just hope Larry doesn't lose a limb or something. That'd be quite annoying. Okay, perfect. Sensory mechanites. I always wonder what that is. But she's fine. Carry her. Oh my god, we could lock her in the crypto sleep casket. It's pretty good. But Larry, you go lie down in... You don't have a bed. Larry, cut down a tree and then go lie down in bed because you need to rest. So that you can actually heal up and, you know, recover. For later deaths and eat. <clears throat> anyway, you won't be... Uh, you, you'll live a little long, good old age, so you're nice and ripe and fat. So the rest of the cannibals can eat you. Anyway. Starry, take her to the bed. Deliver her her food and treat her right up. So feed her. Feed her. Fatten her right up. Mmm. Uh, you are not a doctor, however. Rumi is now completely naked. Larry, why are you taming a timber wolf? That is really not what you should be doing. You should be chopping down oak to make a bed so you can go lay in it and then get healed. You have, like, seriously one job. Stop trying to tame timber wolves. My god, man. Oh, you failed the construction immediately, and you fixed it. Good. Starry, you aren't a doctor. Jimbo, you aren't a doctor. Remy, being the only doctor around here, would you please stop being a fucking moron and put your clothes on and just heal them? Please. You know what, Starry can do it. 
Starry can do it just fine. <sighs> Remy, I swear to God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Starry, get out of that. Jimbo, you know what to do. She came right at you. Ah, Rimmy recovers just in time. Rimmy, how's things? <gasps> Your sister died? That's quite bad, isn't it? Hmm, really awful that your sister died. Nothing I could have done about that. The fucking bitch would have stopped rebelling every ten seconds when we were trying to look after her. <sighs> Jimbo, why are you sleeping next to her dead body? Like, what the fuck is actually wrong with you at this point? Seriously, Jimbo. You're not even a cannibal, and you're still the worst person in this colony. My god, man. Just harvest some trees, let's get Jimbo a bed so he can relax again. Treat Starry, would ya? Starry, once you get treated, come on. Okay, Larry, build the other bed. Okay, you're treated now? Good. Strip Amaya, and just fucking eat her body. Let's see if Rumi gets any more negative modifiers from this. My friend Amaya died. Amaya, no, no, he doesn't really care that, uh, that part of his sister was just eaten and then literally butchered. No shits were given by Rumi. Actually, still none? No. Yep, no shits. God damn it, Rumi. Well, never mind. The place that was intended to be Amaya's bedroom is now completely... Oh my. Hello, pirates. Oh, you came to the wrong neighborhood. Jimbo, take cover here. Larry, here. Remy, here. Starry, just stay in star. In s Actually, Starry, hang around here with your. Uh, why are you vomiting? Is it because. Uh, how did you catch sec sensory mechanites? What? Hmm. I'm not sure I like this. Now, where did the pirates go? Remy, okay, now I know you're in a terrible mood. Go do some stuff. Pirates have not yet attacked. Okay, we're good then. They're not going to attack for a little while. Oh, for fuck's sake. Rumi can take a nap for a little bit. Jimbo, go take cover by there. Larry, you've just eaten... Did you just eat human meat? Why would you do that? Larry, what the fuck is wrong with you? Ugh, you maniac. Did you just get... Did you just feed Rumi... Hu oh my god. No, I don't think you did. We're all good. Okay, so the pirates are arriving. Let's get you guys back over to cover. Perfect. You get to cover here. Oh, we've got an assault rifle. What else we got? A sniper? Then we've got a pistol over there. Nice. Let's see how many we actually managed to down as well. That's two down. Jimbo. Alright, Remy, run after her. Chase her down. Come on, you can do this. Alright, doesn't matter. The rest of us, you go get treated. You can capture it. Tally. What's that? No, tail and tiny. And then we've got two new guns. Ah, oh, yes. Larry, uh, let's get you treated up by Starry, shall we? Good. Jimbo, you now have an assault rifle. Yeah. Okay, that means that Rimmy gets the sniper rifle. And Larry, you may take that charge rifle. Ain't that just about to be? We just captured a whole bunch of people. So, Tail gets the room. Oh, hang on a second. Let's make sure they're actually doing. Yeah, no medicine. Friendly chat and recruit. Friendly chat and recruit. Good, good. Perfect. They are still wearing armor, 
the both of them, good. We'll try and uh, make sure they're actually friends with us and get them in our little team. Good. Everything's going great. Rumi, you might want to go to sleep now, however. You are going completely mad. Poor Rumi, I can't just... Ugh, there's so many factors that he, he's trying to be happy with. Maybe I shouldn't have murdered his sister. Just maybe. Anyway. So let's see. I think if we kick Starry out of his bed... That might be a fair way towards making him happy. So he's in a little bit of pain. Why is that? He's got a scratch scar. Okay. He ate without a table. Well, that's still a thing. He lacks a bionic body part. That's a thing. Okay. Hmm. What else? Joy deprived. You need to play more joy, man. You need a whole lot more joy. Where can we see his working schedule? Here we go. Restricting. Hmm. Do some joy before you go to bed as well. Oh, great. Tiny's now got the sickness. This is most unfortunate. Ah, well. Seems that the uh, upgraded facilities have come together well, though. And with our new prisoners, the Gulag might actually be more than a pipe dream. Let's get back to designing that. So, we want to have this entrance area as... So, this area as our, like, eating and happiness, yay... Uh, all that sort of stuff. This will be a joy area, so that's where we'll put some stuff to keep them from going completely mad. And we'll put some more beds like so. And then down here we'll have the real horrors. So we'll have them doing all their crafting and their breaking of stuff here, all their stone, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so along there. And we'll do it like this. We'll do it like three wide corridors. So we go like so, and then like so. So pretty much like they'll march down this main corridor, and then they'll have to go in, and then on either side there'll be something left to work on. Perfect. And now we just have to figure out a sort of an airlock of sorts. So if we deconstruct that, for now let's just fill this in with, say, wood. We need to figure out like a sort of airlock. Yeah, how would we do it? We have to have like an Oh my god, what's going on over here? Anyway. Have to have some sort of airlock door system to actually let them in. And to allow them to, uh... Are we having joy yet? Hang on. Let's check this out real quick. Oh, James Jimbo English killed my sister. Hmm. Oh no. Rimmy, no. Rimmy, no. Who's around? Jimbo? You've got this, man. Just lay a few shots into him. Okay. Did he lose anything? <gasps> he lost his right pinky finger. <gasps> oh no. Jimbo. Rescue him. Treat him up. Treat him well. And I would like to now point out we have literally no one capable of hauling. Hmm. I see a, ma a made rather big problem with that. Let's treat Remy. Bloody hell. You know, I think we need to just put this Psychic Soothe Pulsar on. Because it's getting real bad. Don't tell me he broke again. No? No, good, okay. So now, strange feeling. He now feels very relaxed. Lovely. We should probably grab that rifle. Good, there we go. Hopefully, Rumi can recover. He, he's joy deprived, he's slept in the cold. He lacks bionic body. Okay, so we need to have a few things to fix that up. Let's put just a heater in his room. So let's go temperature. Small little heater, just to keep it nice and warm. Oh, we're having power issues now. Great. How long before we have geothermal power? That'll still be a while off. I think it might be best that we build a second solar panel. Yeah. Right, Larry, you can build the wooden bed to actually get this done. So Starry can finally have her own room. Perfect. Starry, wake up. There you go, you now have your own bedroom. Perfect, things can actually get cleaned up a bit. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, Rumi still needs treatment. My god, get to bed, you idiot. 
Right, finish treating him. Jesus Christ, he wasn't finished treating at all. Oh god, Tiny's getting sick again. Ah, oh, now Rumi's sick as well. Great. Well, Tiny hopefully will recover soon from that. How long? 94%. Good. Meanwhile, Tail is actually alright there. She's doing good. Yeah. Seems our Gulag isn't just such a pipe dream. But I'm um, still trying to figure out how we should do the doors. Because if we look at a door, we can... I guess we could do it manually. Like we just have a sort of... Yeah, okay, here's what we could do. So we have this part, like half... Oh, there's a rotting dead ball there, whatever. This half of the... Whoa, 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 where am I going? What have I done? Okay. This half of the gulag shall be a sort of resource drop-off. And then when we want to, we lock this door and open this door and we ferry it all back. That could definitely work. Rumi, why are you so stressed? You should be comfortable. Ah, disturbed street sleep, repulsive bedroom. Ugh, oh, this is just... There is no pleasing you, is there? Build yourself a fucking door, would you? Just build it. So you can stop crying about disturbed sleep. Bloody hell. He'll never shut up, will he? It's always disturbed sleep this, crying about that. My sister died, yada, yada, yada. Bloody hell. Ah, we should have recruited your sister at least. She could have somehow helped. Bloody hell. Rimmy, 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 why must you complain so much? Oh well. We'll have the heater up and running soon as well. We actually have a nice sort of room for him. He's, he's joyous, so hopefully once he gets to bed he'll be fine. Hmm. Good. There should be nothing about his room that he can complain about now, so... Actually, let's haul these out of here. Let's at least just haul them halfway. Good, and then we can clean the blood. Haul that as well. Clean some dirt. Clean sand. Haul the medicine out of here. Clean the blood. Okay, is there anything? Let's have a look from his idea. Okay, so the unbuilt areas look unclean. Apparently this bed is bad. Oh, and the rock walls are also unhappy. Ah. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, that's quite annoying. How do I... Can I smooth the rock walls, I wonder? Is that a thing I can do? I can smooth the floor. I can't smooth the walls. Hmm. Well, you're as happy as you'll be for now. I need to build some sort of... Oh, Tail has been recruited. Tail, let's see what you do. Oh my god, Tail. You're glorious. You actually haul. <gasps> Tail, you're an artist. I think, let's see, are you a psychopath? No, but you're a night owl. <gasps> tail, Tail, Tail. I think we should keep you around. I don't think we should throw Tail in the gulag. Because, see, if, if, uh... Tail is a... what's it called? Is a night owl? And, uh... Was she, was she dull or whatever? Was she just happy or... What are other attributes? Let's have a quick look. She was an optimist. Ah, it's gonna be actually really hard for her. She's actually a really good, uh... Really quite a good, uh... What do you call it? Character overall. It's gonna be rather hard to... Piss her off too bad. So I think we actually keep her nice and happy. What a good idea. And Tiny, how about you? You're a hard worker. Oh, you'll be perfect for the Gulag. Good, good, good. Oh, and Rumi's off hunting again. I like the fact that now he has a sniper off and means he has to hunt a doe from ten fucking miles away. Just get a little bit closer and you can actually hit her. No, no, no. He never will. Anyway, Rumi, why are you so unhappy? Raw food? Okay, that's fair enough. Hungry? Hmm... Oh, we can't actually cook at the moment because we have an electric stove that doesn't work. Right. Let's go get you to do some hunting, shall we? Ooh. Actually, kill the grizzly bear. Oh, God. Run away very quickly from the grizzly bear. Ooh. Never mind. The Don got it. So, now, butcher the grizzly bear. How bad was that bite? It wasn't too bad, but it's bleeding 
pretty quickly. But this should give us a shit ton of meat. Ooh, Tails a hunter. She needs a weapon. Um, let's give her the SMG, wherever that went. Here it is. Good. Now she can hunt as well. Perfect. I think everything's actually looking up rather well. Let's get some hunting going on here. Good, good, good. Going over here as well. Perfect. So she can hunt and then just haul. That's great. Where's Remy at? Remy, how you doing? You wanna, you don't wanna cook? No. Did you, did you butcher up the? You did butcher the bear. Why can't you cook? Hmm. That's most strange. Oh, because he's, he's just giving all the bloody meat to the other... Oh, whatever. He's sick. He's unhappy about that. He's no... Oh, my God. And he's gone berserk. Fucking hell. Tail, put Remy down. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh. There must always be a Rumi. For your inauguration, here's what you must do. Wait for it. Consume that meat. Ah, yes, Rumi. Now you are reborn. There shall always be a tiny bit of Remy inside of you. Welcome everyone to the Psycho Colony. I think we need a revamp. So obviously we're going to lock Tiny in the Gulag because that's where he deserves to be. Okay, I didn't mean that because of his skin colour. Her skin colour apparently. Jesus Christ. Oh, Tiny's gone berserk. You know what, Tails? I think it's perfect. I'm sorry, Remy. I think it's perfect that you should put your own friend down. Larry, you can pop the door. On. You pop the door. Larry, run away. Larry, get out of the way. Larry, move. Move, Larry, move. Okay, fine. Larry, just fucking kill him. Go. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him more. Larry, don't you die on me. Larry. Good. Someone treat this dumb shit. Come on. Ugh, he's fine. No, don't carry him to a casket. No, uh, Starry is reserved by Rumi? What? No. Uh, take him to the bed and treat him, please. Anyway, who's in terrible mood? Larry is. Right, why? Is it because you're wounded? Yes, it is. Don't eat human meat, Larry, you moron. Just go and lay in bed. Oh, for fuck's sake, Larry, you're not... Is there any way to stop these people from eating human meat? Because they just keep making themselves unhappy by forcing themselves to eat... <sighs> Damn it, Larry! Why do you do this to yourself? Right, have you fixed up Tiny yet? Come on. This colony's got a lot more in store for it. Oh, that's alright. Aw, Rumi's looking after Larry. How nice. Anyway, I think Jimbo and Larry should definitely stay out. They should definitely be people who work with the colony. And actually, I forgot to give this bed to Rumi. There we go. Happy. Well, I've just realised something. Don doesn't have a master anymore. He needs to reset it to Remy. There we go. Oh, Don's wounded. <gasps> oh my god, he lost a paw to a wild boar. Don. You brave bastard. How do we give you a bionic leg, I wonder? Mm. I looked it up, no, sadly, it doesn't seem there's no it doesn't seem there's a way to give them a bionic legs, so we can't actually give the Don a bionic leg. Sadly enough, but, uh, I don't know. We'll figure out a way soon enough. Remy, stop eating that meat. It's not for you. Okay, is there any way we can stop people from eating that meat? Let's figure this out, because we need to have a way for people to just stop touching meat that's not theirs. Let's go, maybe, um, can we huh, stockpile, allow, just don't eat the human meat. God damn it. God damn it. Well, 
Whoa, what is this? There is a mega theorem, which looks like a giant four-legged sloth. What the hell? Also, happiness for the females. Yay. Tiny, how you doing? Tiny's happy. Bit mal uh, malnutrition, though. We need some more food around here. So I think... Let's go... Hunt. Go. Go hunting. Let's go off you lot. So, uh, everyone is hunters. Off you go. Use your guns. That's what you got them for. Oh no. Larry. Larry. God damn it! It seems this colony is just doomed to fail. Hmm. I'll tell you what. We need food. We need Tiny to be recruited. And Tiny needs food. Oh, you're kidding me. Jimbo's lost an arm. Well then. I have a feeling that we might want to give this another go. This colony has died rather spectacularly. Spectacularly. But you know what? I feel like giving it giving a sort of a, a cast colony another go. Maybe not psycho straight up. Maybe not just straight up cannibalism. Because we all saw how well that went. Let's just do this real quick. You know, we all saw how well that went, but, uh... Yes, I feel like we won't be getting too far with useless fighters. Rimi is the only competent one at the moment. But frankly, he's gonna keep going insane with all the horrible shit around him. And Jimbo has lost his arm, so there goes the rest of our strength. So I feel like there's only one appropriate thing for Rude to go do. Where's, where is one? Alright, Remy. Embrace it. <sighs> and thus, the second that Remy goes out, fighting, beating Grizzly Bear to death with his fists. And that was Rimworld, the Psycho Colony. There may be more very soon. But I feel that after all the losses we took, it would be a very slow start up before we get built up again. So maybe next time I'll see you in the brand new update. Maybe that had something to do with what I was thinking. But in this brand new update, I'm more than happy to give this another shot. Rimworld is a great, great game, but I feel this colony was rather doomed. And now the grizzly bear's even tearing up the turret. No turret! Oh, turret! You yet live! Thanks for watching, everyone. The best stories always end with a bang. Or in my case, with several mercy killings and then a grizzly bear mauling. I think my, mer my story might just be the copy of The Revenant. Until next time, everyone. I've been Rumi, and this has been Rimworld. It's totally, totally named after me. I'll see you next time. <laughs>